we are at San Diego Comic Con, and we are talking about True Noir. Um, uh, can you introduce me to how you joined this project? You know, the great writers, directors of this project called me. They had picked me. They wanted, you know, they said we, we, we cho they chose the cast. You know, I didn't choose the project, which I find, kind of find to be absolutely amazing, you know. Mm -hmm. Then they picked the cast, and they said, you know, we, you were the choices of this. So they kind of found us, to, you know, and they did a great job casting and writing this, you know. Mm -hmm. And I play, uh, you know, like a heavyweight dog, goons of the main guy, Sermak. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, what drew you to the story? You know, just crime, old school you know, I've been, you know, it's something that I actually love doing, you know, this whole genre, you know, and for whether it be New York or Chicago, it's the same thing, you know, and uh, I just love this kind of stories. I've been a Cagney fan since I'm a kid, and it's the same kind of vibe in my eyes. And, you know, it wasn't just acting like you do these, these voiceovers. They actually brought up the other actor on TV in the... In the room so we're shooting the scene like say we're, 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 we're me and her acting mm -hmm. but they're recording it audio mm. so we're still acting sure yeah it was kind of cool yeah. yeah you know more like when i do these voiceover like cartoons and stuff you're not really you're not really interacting it's a screen they may put a picture of the character and they cut and they tell you but this was like yo 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 and they're <laughs> filming it mm -hmm. you know so mm -hmm. that's fascinating it was kind of cool uh, can you tell me a little bit more about your character and uh, where, you, where you bring inspiration where do you, you find inspiration? You know, we're goons. I mean, we're goons for the thing. We find inspiration, and in, as, as any bad guy in any movie finds inspiration by being bad. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what we do. Like, look at The Sopranos. People hated the good guy, which was me, and they loved the bad guys. I was just saying that, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's inspiration is to be the bad guy. And people go, yeah, they root for you, you know? Mm -hmm. What do you hope fans will uh, take away from listening to this uh, drama? By just accepting the new, f the new form of uh, entertainment. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't always have to watch everything. It isn't like, you know, a podcast where you go, okay, you're watching the same guy at a table or laughing or talking. If you could follow stuff by just listening... They've done a great job with the writing and directing and producing the thing, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I just hope people kind of come into this and start believing in this style of uh, film and filmmaking, I would still call it, mm -hmm. and it g gets accepted and it, become, it catches on because I think it's a great way to do it. Well, I look forward to experiencing it. Uh, one last note. Um, uh, Jana and I are both uh, immense fans of 24. Aww. And uh, gr as we were growing up, I'm, I'm actually, when I'm not doing this, I work as a computer programmer. Oh, you and, Edgar. And, yeah, Edgar was like my inspiration. Edgar and Chloe were my inspiration when I was <laughs> younger. <laughs> no, no, I'm only kidding. I love her. Yeah. She would always be like, shut up, Edgar. I'd be like, okay. I felt bad okay, for Edgar. Yeah, and she got so did I. Everyone yeah. did. Yeah, yeah, Edgar, yeah. Was, Edgar was my guy. I love that character. It was one of my favorite characters I played with Edgar. Mm -hmm. And it was, of course, it was so different. Mm -hmm. You know, Sopranos, I was a tough cop. You know, I'll bust right. your head, pussy, at the same, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll crack you. And they're like, okay. <laughs> when, I was on Ed, when I was Edgar, it was like, shut up, Edgar, okay. You know, it was as opposite as it can be as a character. I remember when we were both younger and Edgar, Edgar's character dies. Yeah, okay. I we we were both silent. I got it. Go. We were both silent. All right. I'm well, sorry. No, no worries. I'm sorry. Enjoy the rest of your day. My I hope pleasure. Was a great Thank you. Edgar was my favorite.